device you might have been using a device an android device an ios device and then you forgot to wipe it and maybe you sold the phone or the phone spot the screen spot and decided to let me just sell it out and and you sell it out without actually wiping the device which is wrong if Welcome to CyberSafe, where we talk on online safety, digital safety, and also expose latest scams and tricks used by scammers all over the world and here in Nigeria. In this video, we'll be talking on how to know if your Google account is still logged into other devices and also how to disable those accounts in those devices. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, do it by clicking the red subscribe button just below your screen and also the notification bell icon to get notifications from us when we upload new content. So I know most of us have gone to use the cyber cafe or the internet cafe as it's usually called and then you get to impute our emails to either print out a document or, some, or something of that sort and when you get there you input your email your password and that is it to get what you want to do done and you leave the cyber cafe Did I remember to log out or not the main thing is that your details were still in the computer or have you ever had the experience where you needed to get something done perhaps your phone was dead or you didn't have data and then you told a friend i beg may i just use your phone may i access my gmail i beg i want to check something sharp sharp and then you logged into this person's device you checked what you wanted to check perhaps you were in a hurry and then you forgot to log out do you know your your account is still logged in pretty much into that person's device and do you know the dangers of that you'll find out soon enough as we go further into this video so it's quite important for there are so many instances where we get to log into devices i just gave you two instances that the cyber cafe or into someone's device to do something or even into an old device you might have been using a device an android device an ios device and then you forgot to wipe it and maybe you sold the phone or the phone spot the screen spot and decided to let me just sell it out and and you sell it out without actually wiping the device which is wrong if you watch that video which is in the description box on what to do if you get a second hand device you should know you are supposed to wipe the device before using a second hand device so the first thing to do is go to chrome and you type in google sign in once you type in google sign in you will see a place where you sign in you put your email you put your password once you've done that you will see how the screen looks like as you can see on the screen so you select security so once you select security you go to privacy and personalization and then you see where you get so as you can see on the screen you make sure you follow these steps properly you get to remove all those devices that have been logged in that you've logged into in the past you see them there that are still logged in those people get to monitor they get to see your emails they get to see anything related they can control your account basically because they have you you are still logged in into their device one way or the other it's advisable you log out from those devices okay it is very important to do so the second thing you need to take note of is to disable some third party applications which you do not need or which you are not sure or you don't trust most times when you want to register for something or sign up for something you see they just tell you to click on your email and then it gets you registered or it gets you logged in most of those third party applications are not trusted they're not even trusted by google or even by you so if you feel any of those applications are kind of fishy or you don't can't even remember how you got to sign up with those third party applications because they have access to your account they can see your contacts they can see some of your details so if you know you don't trust those third party applications like you can see zoom here you can trust zoom at least to an extent facebook and some of the other third party applications but if you do not trust them please and please follow the steps and then remove those third party applications that have access to your account this is really important to do so and most importantly most importantly do not forget do not forget if you have not done that now i don't want to say it's kind of funny enable your two-factor authentication they say two-step verification is what they call it in some places i think that's what it's called on google so make sure it's enabled click on it follow the steps click on the two-step verification process and then enable it what it does is that once someone has access to your password either your password was leaked one way or the other the person can't still access your info because the person will need a second a second means of identification which is why they call it two-factor authentication or, or, or to, uh, the second verification procedure okay so what you do is that once you enable it you get to you can either use by phone call or a text message after putting in your password you'll be prompted to put the pin which will be sent to your the number which you register which is your phone number okay please make sure your phone number you register don't register your mom's phone number don't put your your boyfriend's phone number your girlfriend's phone number put your phone number the one only you can access so once you are prompted to put in that particular number or otp or code whatever it's called you can put it in 
and then log in successfully though there's another method google just brought up which you can use your phone to either click yes and yes or no and then your phone just gives you the access to login so you can use that one too but two-factor authentication is really required if you see that it is not checked green please it means you you are not using it use it for all your email accounts use it for all your google accounts so if you know you gained a lot from this video why keep it to yourself go ahead and share it to your friend click on the share button just below your screen you see it somewhere there just below click on it share it to your friends your family your contacts so that they'll be aware of these things trust me you might not take you might not take your online safety serious until something happens until your account is hacked until someone is defrauded but it's really important the way the country is moving and the whole world is changing things are changing everything is turning everything is going online so make sure you don't just watch this video immediately after watching the video please and please so that you don't forget go and do these things if you've not done it so the first thing to do, make sure you log out from all the devices you've been logged into and I've showed you how to do it. You can go back if you, if you didn't see it properly. And the second one is to make sure you disable third party applications that have access to your Google account, okay? I will advise you personally, if you want to sign up for those things, you just sign up with your mail and a password. Don't just, don't use the SSO, don't use single sign on to sign up automatically with your google account because some of these sites are not trusted okay and the third one is also to enable two-factor authentication it's really important i can't stress this a lot if someone gets your password the person can basically get your account and the person the funny thing the way what they do is that after getting your password they just put this two-step verification and they've got your account they can, they can access your gmails your business mails whatever it is so make sure you do that share this to all your contacts click on share button share it on facebook share it on whatsapp it's very easy to share you just need to do that with a click of a button so i'll see you next time thank you for staying thank you for watching us if you are new i know you're already a subscriber because you've clicked on that subscribe button so thank you and see you in the next video stay safe